cold plunge and jacuzzi in this area. And then that's the room that we're staying in. There's Austin. Hey, Boggy. Hey, Boggy. It's Austin's uh, only language these days. It's hey, Boggy. This is out our little window to the side. Um, Dad's you, obviously. <laughs> I think we're on hole six. We're not sure yet because the course is really still not open or active. And, but we're pretty sure this is the fairway of hole six, and you come from up. So the green, or the, yeah, the green is up there. Bye. <laughs> we're getting ready to play some pickleball. You got pickleball balls, and I just got pumped by pickleball shoes. But... Ozzy, we gotta get you a car wash, Dad. Hey, it's looking a little. Tell the vlog what this is. He's cuffing. He's okay. Those are from cuffing.
Just the way you look Swimming to it is bold. Um, I'll talk about this more, but it's a bold decision to swim along the Nepali coast uh, for anybody. Um, the ocean and its own elements, sharks, which we won't talk much about, but yes, they are there. <laughs> um, and it's kind of a challenging swim. Most people hike in and get to see it, but swimming it is a whole nother um, experience. And my brother was a lifeguard out here so he's really a security blanket in situations like this but um we are so let's go they're obviously waiting for me some shoes Ooh, black mamba. Black Betty. What do you say? I say, let's go swim the Nepali right now. Fins, floating devices. Mm -hmm. Miguel asked me to bring a few things. I just want to make sure I double check those. I have GoPro, I have sunscreen, I have Put more sunscreen. Bikini. old house. <laughs> this truck's so big. Getting some like, fins and stuff for the swim. So as I was saying, the swim we're doing is called, where we're swimming is Hanakapiai, which is like the first waterfall point that you hit on the hike of the Nepali. Um, it's about like two to three miles one way. And so you swim along the shore instead, and then swim into the Hanakapia beach, and then hike back. Um, it's not a terribly like treacherous swim. The trade winds are blowing the right direction, so it kind of pulls you. Um, it won't be super choppy, but it's not a swim that a lot of people will ever get to do or um, are safe to do. So we're very lucky and excited. It's a, like a once in a lifetime kind of thing. Yes, it is sharky. Um, it's their ocean, it's their home. And most people will say, you know, it's kind of causing a fuss out there. They say that we're so close to shore, which is an issue, but really, or anywhere near there. It's the Bali Coast. one of the most stunning places in the world. And to see it from that side, from, you know, ocean side in, is so unique and so beautiful and special. So we're just geared up. I don't think Austin knows what he's in for. He's been here before with me, but that was his first trip last time we came. And it was rainier, it was spring, which is super rainy here. So we didn't get a lot of like beach mountain time. Um, so this trip's been a lot more of that. I haven't been filming a ton because we got here four days ago and the first part of the trip we really just helped my dad move. He bought a new house here um, in Princeville so we were all of us just moving furniture and boxes and organizing. Now we're settled in the new house and I'll probably pick up vlogging a bit more. We're gonna golf, we're gonna play Mackay which is the Princeville course. We're going to probably do a couple range sessions there. We're gonna take a boat to the Nepali after swimming it, so we're swimming it today and then I think on Tuesday we're in a boat um, 
along the coast as well, which is just another incredible way to see it. Um, lots of fun ahead. And I'm super happy to have you guys here.
proud of you. I'm proud of you. Matt, Matt took care of us out there. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. One hotel. We got dad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Us.
Jordan. Look at these. Cooking all fancy and shit. Get some balls. Those but I like, that's why I like wearing it and sweating it down. Let's crush it. Let's crush it. I don't know if my body has done three days of moving as a team. We've winged, we've hiked, we've swam <laughs> the polytoes. I almost died. Us almost later. died later. We'll tell you that story. Our bodies are beat, but walked out barefoot two and a half miles. Makai is one of the most beautiful ranges. Yeah. So it, it being across the street, it's really hard to not be here. Let's hit some balls. I couldn't get my first one on. Okay, so 
They shut the garage door if you would have. white and kind of tacky so we painted it black filled it with lava rock and got him these candles and I think it's much more romantic so watch in the US I had to fly back yesterday for work and I'm still here with my mom, my dad, Miguel, and my brother. Dad did not live here, you guys know that. Um, mom and Miguel leave tonight and then I'm here for a couple more days with just dad. And he's been moving his home, bought a new home here in Princeville, so I've been helping him move. Y'all have, um, I'll stick around a few more days just to have like that time with just dad and help with the finishing, you know, final moving pieces and helping him get art hung and decorate and make it feel like home for him. Loving being able to do that and love to get time with just him. Um, of course, I love time with my whole family. One-on-one um, -on -one time is always good too. So today I'm at dad's old house. We're just dropping dad off 
my mom's gonna get in the car and we're gonna head down into Hanalei, get a smoothie or coffee or something, walk around a little bit and then head out to Hyena, which is where Matt lives, and probably go to Tunnels, which is one of my favorite beaches here. Spend a little time on the beach, swim, and then go to the cold pond. Um, which we do kind of daily here. It's basically a natural ice bath and it's where those waters are healing. It feels incredible. It's just really nice. So that's what's going on today. We'll send them off to the airport tonight and then maybe do dinner with just dad and I. Hi, honey. Uh -huh. uh, what's doing? Um, Jason about the cold pond. Uh, yeah, it's, I was, it's so funny because I was just telling the vlog about the cold pond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just religious. Uh, and I just feel so good about it. I go, we, I, we went literally the, the day we were leaving, you know, and yeah, it was awesome, so. Oh, yeah, it's magical. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I was just checking in. I have one more meeting with, uh... Bikini wall. I've been. Actually, the cold pond that we go to, that's the river from the mountain that flows to the cold pond.
Good morning. It's my last day here and we're just gonna head into town. I'm gonna help him fix one of his bikes and then we're probably gonna go to tunnels or KA and swim a little. Maybe walk around on the beach. Um, do my last cold pond and get a shape ice and then I'll come home, shower and get to the airport. I'm on a red eye tonight so hoping to sleep or work but when you come from Hawaii to the mainland there is no Wi-Fi so not a lot of work can get done so for that reason you have to plan accordingly a lot of people like think oh I'll get a bunch of work done it's a long flight you're not gonna have any Wi-Fi um, so that for that reason I typically pick a red eye because it's not like you can take advantage of the time and I'll go crazy just sitting there uh, for five and a half six hours so we hope to sleep. <sighs> Excited to get back to us. Duty. Shore pound. <laughs> no cold pond now.